congratulating and welcoming our brothers from the MDG party to this coalition that has shown this country that indeed we can achieve what has hitherto in the, in the past seemed unachievable. And that is building one country, one nation, whereby during elections, the question of where you come from or which language you speak, which community that you have lived in ceases to matter and what matters is our national intention to build one country and for all Kenyans to live in a unified nation where, where opportunity is spread equally. And so I want to say welcome to Kenya Kwanzaa. We are the coalition that has opened a new chapter, given this country a new deal, whereby we know that under the leadership of our president-elect, William Samoy Ruto, this country will start to realize the development that should have been in the past many wasted years when there was conflict. And while saying that, I want to urge those that were competing with us on the other side, the Azimio Coalition Group and their leadership, that Kenyans are exhausted and tired. We, we can't continue with this kind of game that has been played over the years. And it is important for us to raise the lead flag, flag on what has now been identified clearly as a premeditated and calculated move every time when we hold elections that IABC is placed as one of the games that will be played by the leadership intending to discredit the, in, the results after Kenyans have expressed their intention. And uh, this started, as uh, has been said earlier here, all the way from the times of Kivuitu. We saw what happened in KCC those days. After that then came the Isaac Hassan uh, Commission. Same story, same script. At the end of the day, when there was intention to discredit and refuse the results, then IBC became the culprit. We have seen it now again this time. I'm wondering, and we in Kenya Kwanzaa are wondering, indeed and urging the police, the first thing they should have done is to take action. We saw somebody in front of cameras punching a Chebukati. Why hasn't this, this, this guy been taken to court as of now? We saw commissioners bleeding, bleeding after being injured. Why hasn't these guys been taken to court? Those are electoral offenses. We saw intentional destruction of property in front of cameras. Why haven't those guys been charged for having uh, broken the laws of this land during the pronouncement of an, an election that was conducted under the eyes and observation of international observers? And what you are saying is this game is up. We can't continue to buy this script that IBC becomes the bad guy after the results are out and they don't please one side. And then secondly, it is important for us to tell the country that it is time to move on. It is time to move on. People are ready. Kenyans are waiting. They are holding their breath. They want to go to work. They want to get busy. Our children want to learn in an atmosphere where there is no anxiety. Can we have the breath and exhale that we want? Because we did our elections, Kenyans went to the, to, 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 to the polls. They expressed their will. And what we are asking is because our competitors have chosen to go to our courts of law, then wait for the justice you went to seek in the courts. Don't try to influence the results, the minds, the thinking of the judges who will be sitting. We know and we have heard results that have come from the Supreme Court, even many times to the favor of our competitors. They won the last time when they went to the Supreme Court. Why not now? So we are asking you, please be still, don't interfere with the judiciary, let the judiciary make its own decision with the matters that you took to court. And we are certain, we are, we are, we are sure that the same results will be uh, what Kenyans expressed during the elections that they chose one William Samoy Ruto to be the leader of this country, to, to be the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Let us continue that way, and I want to urge your Kenyans, let's get to work, let's get busy, let's build the nation we want. Thank you very much. Thank you. Olago, one minute.